Hi everyone, it is Nat from Sonic Arts here and I'm coming to you live from Salt Studios in Melbourne, Victoria in Studio C today and I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate the Post Malone vocal effect on your own vocals or on the vocals of someone you've been recording and it goes the same for the Drake vocal effect, the Daft Punk vocal effect, pretty much everyone and their horses using it in pop music and in hip hop and R&B these days. And I actually have three different methods to show you how you can achieve the same thing. Now, two of those use plugins that are going to cost you some money. And the third one is totally free. So let's jump into the tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how we could implement this in Ableton Live, um, although you can really do this in any digital audio workstation. So what we're looking at here is just a little bit of a sketch up of a song idea, um, doing a little bit of a writing session. I think I may have featured this in an older tutorial, um, but I'll play you a little bit of it. And it's just a little bit of a chorus. And this is the absolute raw vocal I'm singing pretty out of tune because I actually had an auto tune plug in on my voice as I was singing this. So it's pretty, pretty terribly out of tune, but there's enough there for it there to be a melody so let's have a listen don't stop what you're doing to me baby don't stop don't stop what you're doing now baby don't stop don't stop what you're doing now baby Okay, so that's just absolute raw vocal um, and I'm going to show you a little bit of a signal chain um, that I've popped on there to make it sound really commercial. This is just a bit of a sort of a tropical house um, number, um, really just at a, an idea stage. Um, so the first way I'm going to show you how to do it is with the Waves uh, Real Tune. Uh, real-time tuner um, but I'm also going to show you um, some of the effects so let's have a listen to a little signal chain that I've popped on there and see how dramatically different this sounds with this uh, signal chain don't stop what you're doing now baby don't stop don't stop what you're doing to me baby don't stop and then here's that verse when you put your hands on me I get so dizzy I can barely Okay, so what have I got here? Pretty, pretty simple actually. So uh, effects wise, I'm just sending, you can see here on the right hand side, I'm sending heaps of the vocal down to send A and B, which are actually just funnily enough, the stock reverb and delays that are loaded up with a session. Um, I was being pretty lazy. I could have used any of my nice plugins, but we've just got the stock standard reverb I think what I've done is I've actually dialed up the decay time um, quite high to 11 seconds. So it's big and I've pulled that stereo up a bit as well. Um, and on the delay, very, very simple uh, quarter note delay just on the, both the left and the right. And then I've just sent a ton of that. And if you switch over to the other view, you can see those sends on the vocal track just there. It's about halfway up there and about uh, 66, 70 percent of the way up on that one. So that's the vocal uh, actual, you know, wetness for the dry uh, from the dry sound to that, you know, super saturated reverb and delay. But on the actual vocal itself, I've got an EQ, which is the VEQ from the Wave Suite and the Arvox, which is just a simple compressor. And then for getting that tuning effect, I've got the Waves Real-Time Tuner. So first of all, if you don't own the Waves plugins, um, with the pop vocal like this, you want to get it really, really crisp and you want to get it quite compressed. So I could actually um, quickly redo this, these two uh, EQ and compressor sort of uh, with the stock plugins here. See the audio effects? All I could do is grab an EQ8 there and I could do a high pass filter so I could just cut everything below 100 Hertz 
You can dial everything up at about, I'm just going to double click in here and this will enlarge this for me. So I'm going to pull this back to about 5 kilohertz and just pull everything up. I might do a little bump around 1 kilohertz for a bit of grit and meat on that. And I might pull out a tiny bit of 200. Just make a bit of a bump there. So let's have a listen to that. Don't stop what you're doing now, baby. Don't stop. stop, stop. It's not quite as crisp as that um, VEQ. I found this VEQ. You get this really crispy thing with this high shelf here. Um, I could actually just go nuts with that, actually. It's a bit closer, actually. And then with the compressor, you can just grab standard compressor. Um, I would do a maybe 30 or 40 millisecond attack and um, yeah 50 millisecond release ratio of about three or four to one and then pull this threshold down until I see the gain reduction meter getting tickled here so let's have a look it's so dizzy, I can barely breathe. I can barely breathe. and it's got the automatic gain makeup there I don't want that on I just want to have a look roughly how much gain reduction is happening it's so dizzy. That's probably just two or three decibels of gain reduction, so I'm going to add in, say, three on the way out. So there we go. I've actually um, recreated the VEQ and the RVOX pretty... Um, let's have a listen A B comparison real quick. So here is the original Waves plugins. And here is the stock Ableton plugin. It's pretty close. Alright, so I'm just going to fold these down for the moment and let's have a look at what we're doing here with this Waves real time tuner really quickly. It's an auto tune plugin. It's a copy of the Antares auto tune or the Waves version of it, rather. So, what I've got uh, is I have dialed in the scale here. I've found the notes that work well for this um, particular song is a B harmonic minor. So, all that's doing is um, not letting any of these notes that have a red. Um, or that pink minus rather those those notes are not allowed to be hit it will not let them through and then I've dialed the speed like re closer to zero so you get that super auto tune effect it means that uh, the speed is really quick and the note transition I've dialed all the way almost to zero so you get those quick jumps from one note to the other and it sounds very artificial and very pop so that's um, that's basically how I get that super pop uh, overly tuned vocal really quickly, really easily, just with an EQ, a compressor, an auto tune plugin, and then saturate it with effects. Um, now, there's a, the next way I want to show you is pretty much exactly the same as that way, except if you don't have the Waves uh, real time tuner. Um, I mean, I think it's only about somewhere between fifty and a hundred dollars to buy that. Uh, but there, I actually stumbled across across this free auto tune plugin that is super cool uh auburn sounds uh Gralian 2. um so there is there's a free version which gives you just the auto tune parts and then there's a paid version which gives all these uh other cool bits which are currently locked in the free version um so you get like a cut down version but have a listen to this so I, all you do is on this little keyboard, you just tell it the notes you want to play and then the red ones are the notes that it's not going to play. And then I did the same thing with this correction. I dialed the uh, correction speed close to zero um, so that you get the quick um, changes. And then, okay, I'll play it first without it so you can hear my terrible singing. When you put your hands on me, I get so dizzy, I can barely breathe. 
And then now let's have a listen with this free uh, auto tune plugin. When you put your hands on me, I get so dizzy, I can barely breathe. I can barely breathe. To me, I mean, uh, not to diss waves, but um, I would quite happily use that any day. Um, the waves, um, for me, it does pretty much the same thing. Although, I mean, to Waves' credit, their plugin has a lot more settings, um, you know, to get finer edits. But if you're just going for the really coarse, um, you know, correction, this uh, Auburn Sounds plugin is the ticket and it is free. Um, I will put the link to this in the description of the video so you can download it for Mac and for PC. Um, so that's fantastic. And I also found this cool little um, sort of uh, knob here that called inertia. So it does this weird, um, I've never seen this on any other plugins. All right, I'm just gonna pause this video for a second because I've almost filled up my hard drive and I'll be back with you in a sec. All right, ladies and gents, we are back in action. So um, let's dial this inertia uh, up and see what it does to this vocal. alters the notes that were being performed or something. I kind of like that. All right, so the, we're gonna quickly move on. I need to get this video finished before I fill up my hard drive again. I got some serious data backup to do. So the last, uh, so I've showed you the Waves real-time tuner. That's the free Auburn Sounds uh, tuner. And then the final one, my favorite, of course, if you know me, Melodyne, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, make sure you get my Melodyne course if you haven't uh, watched that on Udemy yet. Um, so what I've done is I've printed this vocal into Melodyne and um, let me open up Melodyne and what I'll do to get that same effect in Melodyne, I've already printed this in so I've clicked transfer, I've played the track, um, I'm going to select all, I'm going to snap the notes to the nearest note, I'm going to snap the pitch modulation, I'm going to snap the pitch drift um, and let's see what that does. We spin you for me and baby don't stop while you are doing this. Okay, so now what we need to do is tell Melodyne the scale we want. So let's say it was B minor. Um, I had a melodic minor. Let's see. So I've got to go up to the options and make sure that the pitch grid, I've got scale snap on. And then if I snap everything, it should snap. snap. Like a star, you light the room. We spin you for me and baby, it'll stop while you are doing. Well, that sounds absolutely terrible. So let's try something else. There we go. It was B flat. Um, the great thing about Melodyne, not only does it sound great, you can change individual notes. Spin you for me in. So you can create a new a new melody that wasn't even there. We spin you for me in. We spin you for me in. Baby, don't stop while you are doing. To me, that just sounds heaps smoother. Um, and you can go in, and if there, like, there was one. And I know I'm now, and I know I'm now, I'm gonna be alone. I'm gonna be. So you can chop notes in half. If you've watched any of my other Melodyne tutorials, here we go. And I know I'm now, I'm gonna be alone. I 
and then you can always just duplicate that track um, and create a false harmony on this second track no, I'm never gonna be alone. No, 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 no. by moving this up So now, we've got an, a cool harmony happening. And I know I'm, I know I'm, I'll just fix that first note. Because I'm, and I'm, and I'm, I'm pedantic. And I know I'm never gonna be alone. So that's a really good effect, even just on one note. And you can turn that down, so. With, with, and baby, I'll stop what you were doing, please. So you, that harmony was just kind of like there in the background, but added a really nice element to the song. So there you have it, guys. That's how I achieve that modern pop super auto-tuned vocal with three different ways. Two of them paid, Melodyne, of course, but you can get a free trial of Melodyne uh, for 30 days, fully functioning. And um, the Waves one is fantastic, but uh, how cool is that free plugin? Very good. I might do another separate video just on that free plugin um, for people looking around and uh, go a little bit more in depth into that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Make sure if you want to learn everything there is to learn about Melodyne, uh, do my Udemy course. I'll leave the link in the description. And for my YouTube viewers, um, I've got a special uh, offer for half price um, on that Udemy course. So make sure you have a look at that if you're interested. It's a complete beginners to advanced course that I've created. And uh, I think I've almost chilled that course enough now. So this might be one of the last auto tune kind of videos uh, I do for a little bit. Um, I will be doing this again in Pro Tools. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Thank you.